my dear ladies, so uh, we continue learning Alama Yaptu choreography and we have um, two parts left. Today, today's class and next week. And we're done with this choreography. So let's uh, start uh, with dancing everything from beginning. I hope you remember what we learned last class. I am not sure that I remember everything. So let's check, let's see what you remember and what I remember.
step forward with your left leg, okay? Ba, ba, ba. All right, so that was the previous part. I suggest we dance the previous part one more time. That's for me, okay? So I remember what's next and how to connect these two parts together. So, get ready. Right leg, because right is here, ready to go. 
So we go one, two, three, right? And you are asking you want to take something and uh, put it close to your heart. After these three steps back. Again, I'm reminding your arms were here. You move back one, two, three. And then after this, you have to turn to the right. This right? Yes, this is right. So we turn to the right like this. With our umbrella, turn bum, bum, bum. You uh, will cross your left over right and turn like this. Okay, very simple. No additional steps.
inside of your body. So you remember, right? My audience is there. This is the mirror. This is my audience. This mirror in, in, uh, in between of these two stands. Okay, so you find your audience. You're at home, right? So whatever your audience, if you have a mirror, you like to have a mirror, good. If you don't have a mirror, you might have a big TV screen or something else. So with your side towards your audience. Okay, so let me uh, start from the beginning and let's see how we can do this. So you have one, two, three, and then you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, circle and chest and one, two, three. So we have, uh, our arms are gonna go down. This way you kind of emphasize where the audience has to pay attention to, right? So you show here, here, this part, you see? Like you put your arms away. And you kind of look down to show the floor is going this way. Okay, so let's try with music. To be honest, I have not tried the music except of right now with you, so I need time to work on this also. So I feel what you feel, okay? And you feel what I feel now. So we're all on the same page.
So what I want you to do again, I, I'm going to play the music now and I want you again to listen to the music and to try to understand if you didn't already when you do each move, right? With, with the singer's voice because we dance with the singer's voice right now. So let's listen to her again and not dance. We're not going to dance. Like 
pushing, uh, uh, taking your hair back with your arm. If you don't have home here, then you don't have to with this arm over additional, right? You just come up. And then you bring your leg in and you open your arms into this position and you go one, two, three. So this one, two, three is very similar to what we did bam, bam, boom, right? So it goes but without the boom. One, two, three. One, down, down, down. Okay, three times down and take your hip back. So that's uh, the technique. That's what you do. I'm going to go back to the beginning of this part and I'm going to put the technique together, okay? So now we're not thinking about music, we're just thinking, you know, what, which leg does the step, what side our circles go, and what is the, the next move. Okay, so just two techniques. You ready? Let's go. So, right, left, right, cross left over right, umbrella, and turn. After you turn, sit a little bit, small circle to the right, boom, to the left with your chest, boom, and then uh, you, do, you have two more undulations, right? Regular undulation, one and two. After two regular undulations, you step on your left leg and do a scooping course with your right leg, and then you get into preparacion for the big circle. Boom. This is the first part of the circle. Boom. This is the second part of the circle. And then boom, this is the third part. And then you get into this position and have one, two, three. Okay? Good, good, good. I hope you can see me well and uh, you see the sides and everything. Well, if you don't, we can, you know, you can always ask your questions during our Zoom meeting. So let's try with music. Let's see how this all works with the singer's voice, with the melody, what if it doesn't work? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> You kind of go through the inner part of 
with your toe like this and then from here continues and there is nothing else that you have to add because you're already in this position okay so the only difference is that you have to turn your foot out to the side you have to put more weight on the outer side on the inner side of your foot which is this side okay and then you have to go into this pulley plie, the front plie. When you are taking your circle to the front, you will have to sit a little bit. And then from here, you have to fall back. And then when you come up here, you will be in the, still in this position. You will bring it in, and you see it's like more elegant. That's the difference between our you know, shabby and baladi that we did before. So this is gonna be a little more elegant way of doing the big circle and then coming into this position, closing into this position with bam, bam, bam. Okay, but so I want you to practice this, but I don't want you to think too much about like getting into this position and getting too tense. Okay, so let's practice now on this side, right? So if, let's say if you had to go into big circle, you would take your foot out. Now it's your right side because you're mirroring me. You will take your uh, right foot out. You will uh, point your toe to there, you know. You would go into the front part of the circle and the plie. And then you would take your hip to the side, right? Go down, bring it to this weight to, uh, onto your left leg, right? So now the weight is on your left leg. And then you bring your right leg in and you do down, 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 okay? So this is how we do on the left. This is how we do on the right. All right, nothing too much different. It's just this position of your foot on how you start the movement. Normally we would go like, we would put the full the foot fully down, right? The foot, uh, full foot will go down with the uh, toe and the heel down. Here you will still put it fully on the floor, but on the inner part of your foot. All right? And of course we'll work on, the, on that style a little more. I'll show you differences. It's just that if we speak in general, it's much more elegant style. Like you would do shimmy in this, in, in this position, in this close position. And it's uh, when, especially when you wear, let's say, a short skirt, when you're dancing in a short skirt, this is a more common position. Kind of not to have a short skirt and like open feet like this, but in this position, it looks much more elegant. Okay, all right, so I don't want to cook, uh, now discuss another topic. Let's go back to our dance. And let's dance one more time. This part from beginning, not from beginning, I'm sorry, just the, the new part. that I'm talking about, that you have to catch them and show them uh, 
with your dance. So your when you show the accent, your move is gonna be faster. So that that small part of the choreography you will make sharper and faster. So for example, here you go boom, boom. So this is how you show the accent. Ah, right? So you have to make the move a little sharper to show the accent. So now let's see.
finish this one, okay?